So here it is, method number one, the table method. Once again, here's our situation. One car moving at five meters per second relative to the ground, V1G, and car two is moving at two meters per second relative to the ground. We have this five meter lead um, by car two, and we want to know when car one will overtake or meet and overtake car two. The first thing we actually need to do is choose and select an origin. And what I've chosen is um, this location over here. My zero is going to be right here. And I really could have chosen anywhere, but I thought this was a good spot right where car one is going to begin. And so relative to car one, car two is at five meters in a positive direction. It, is, it has a displacement of five meters. And so that's something we're going to use in each of the techniques as we go along. So I've got a table here. One heading is time in seconds. Another heading is the displacement of car one in meters. And finally, the displacement of car two in meters. So let's look at the situation. We have at t equals zero, car one is at zero meters, car two is at five meters. And so we'll write that down, zero seconds, zero meters for car one, and five meters for car two. Um, in creating the table, we're just going to increase t and see what happens uh, to each of the other values. All right, so let's say, let's go to t equals one second. One second over here. Well, car one will have gone how far? Well, it moves at five meters per second. One second goes by, it will move at uh, a location of five meters. It will move five meters ahead. So it's at position five relative to the origin. Here we go. What about car two? Well, car two began at five meters. It's moving at two meters per second. And so what happens is it's going to be that five plus two meters per second. So it will be at position seven. So car two is still ahead of car one. But instead of by five meters, it's now only by two meters. The gap is closing. What about t equals two seconds? What happens there? At t equals two seconds, car one, which is moving at five meters per second, will now be at a displacement of 10 meters. What of car two? Okay, car two will be at, well, it started at five. We have two seconds of travel. At two meters per second, that's four. So we're looking at nine. All right, what does this tell us? Tell us right now. We have car one at 10 meters. Car two is at nine meters. It's taken the lead. It's gotten further than car two. So we know that somewhere between second one and second two, car one overtakes car two. That's what our table's telling us. So. Why don't we find, try a different value? How about somewhere between one and two? Let's choose one and a half, 1.5. So at 1.5, how far has car one traveled? Car one has traveled seven and a half meters. And if you crank this out, car two has traveled eight meters. Okay, well, who's in the lead here? Um, car two is still ahead of car one, so we don't have our situation quite yet. Um, they're not quite equal. <clears throat> we need a little more time. So between one and a half seconds and two seconds, car one will pass car two. What about 1.75? That's in between 1.5 and two. Well, let's try it. 1.75 seconds. Um, the displacement of car one would be 8.75 seconds. And car two's displacement will be uh, eight and a half seconds. So we're getting closer and the margin's getting closer. Uh, so this tells us that at 1.75 seconds, car one is in the lead. So somewhere between 1.5 and 1.75 seconds is when car one meets car two. So we can do this for a while. We can go to 1.6 and see if that works and so on and so forth until we get the answer. So that's the table method. I'm just going to leave it here because it's a little tedious, but at least we can 
zone in on the answer. It's a good way to kind of narrow down the possibilities. But next, I'm going to show you a different method, and um, it's called the graphical method. Um, I'm going to introduce my avatar to bring us this next segment. <laughs> 